Hey, it's guacamole time. Anyways, I had a bunch of uh, avocados that need to be used. So I decided to make a smooth um, guacamole salad, more or less. Anyways, I'm just gonna put it in my Vitamix and add all the ingredients and then just use dip with it. And you can make uh, guacamole tostadas with it and stuff. So anyways, they're already, they're already almost bien pasados. They're already almost to the point that you can't eat them if you if I wait any longer. So I'm just empty, gonna put them all into there. And um, and you'll see how I do this, this guacamole that I'm making. And um, see how it comes out. dark. It's all good. You know, putting them in the, in a measuring cup, I kind of, I know if somebody will ask, well, how much was it? And this and that, how many cups or whatnot? So I thought, oh, I'll just put it in a measuring cup and then put it into my Vitamix. So my ingredients are just salt, garlic, onions, and tomates, whatever we had left over, you know, whatever I have cut is what I'll put into the, into the guacamole, into my Vitamix and stuff. So it's, uh, it's pretty, you know, pretty simple and uh, fun to make. And I like it smooth. Sometimes I like, you know, I like it when it's, when it's just chopped up or in the morcojete. Um, you know, in my stone, just depends how I feel like getting it. So there is no right, wrong way um, of making any of this. But when you have, um, you know, leftovers from the holiday weekend or whatnot, you want to use them. And so we didn't use all the avocados. So I thought, oh, we'll do this. And then I don't mind having, you know, Guacamole on tostada, you know, tostadas. Oh, dropped it. Let me pick up that. And it's all over my white shirt, probably. <laughs> but anyways, um, let me wash my hands. Okay. I mean, you know what? I had the Vitamix right here. That's why I'm doing it on top of the stove. I didn't want to move everything since I already had everything there. So anyway, so um, this was 10 um, medium avocados. They weren't too big and they weren't too small either. See, some of it's a little, you it's starting to, to bruise. So I kind of just kind of scoop around the bruising. Te dije, estoy tirando todo. Dropping everything today, that's okay. Everything's clean. That's one thing, my kitchen is, is very clean. And you know, and the thing about it is like, when the, like I said, I hate to, going dirty something else I'm, I was already working here at, at the stove and uh, my Vitamix was here so I thought I'm just gonna do everything right here it's okay it's all good it's my kitchen it's okay you know and um, and stuff so anyway so it's 10 uh, medium size of Haas avocados that's usually the only ones I use I rarely use the smooth uh, skin avocados rarely use them I like Haas avocados and stuff so anyway so that's what I'm doing see these ones have a little bit of the black but I just kind of scoop around it That way I don't touch it, see? And the same with this one. You know, so. Anyways, so there it is. 
So now, dump off this. Give me a second. Okay, so now, put that there. Move my Vitamix over. And so I'm gonna put this in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice or fresh lemon, because I do have fresh lemon. That's what I mean by that. So anyway, so here's my lemon. So I'm just gonna kind of roll it back and forth so that I could squeeze the, as hubby would say, squeeze the stuffings out of it. So I'm gonna put this inside on top in my uh, top of my uh, guacamole. Yum. Try to get all the seeds in there. Put my hand in here, and I have a squeezer, but mm, I dirty anything. I can use my hand. Okay, so that's the that's what's there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some sour cream, a little bit of sour cream, Get the sour cream out of the fridge. And it's new. So with the sour cream, it's probably, oh, probably about a quarter cup. I'm gonna just put it in here, maybe a little bit more. And then, so I'm going to pour this in here. Make sure all that juice is out. Hold it. I'm going to get the onions real quick. I love the onions and hit this onion in here. That's what we had left over from making the uh, potato salad and stuff. So, so I just poured the whole thing in there. Whatever's left over. It's probably about a couple of teaspoons of garlic, salt, and you know what? All this is to your, to your tasting, whatever you like. And then I'll put the, I'm going to be putting the jalapenos in, but I'm going to mix it just a little bit. Just to kind of get it going. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, since I just mixed that just a tad, so I'm going to put my chopped up jalapenos. Well, they're just, I just cut them like in fours. And there's three large ones. I like the spice, so the jalapenos is always to your liking. <laughs>
I'm gonna move this for just a second. I'm gonna open it, make sure it's all mixed in. I don't know if some of you didn't know, this is for this, just this, for mixing in your Vitamix. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how perfect. Look at that. Smooth, smooth. See? Okay. I'm going to put it one more time. Because I just... And the jalapenos were firm, so you want them to be firm, okay? And I don't ever use real soft ones at all. So the fresher the better. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Right on. Now that's what you call some good, smooth guacamole. Oh, there it comes. Look at that. Oh, it is so pretty. Look at that. Nice, huh? Look at that. Just taste a little bit. Remember, you subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so much. And if you haven't purchased my cookbook, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Now, that came out delicious. I love guacamole. And welcome one can go with anything with that. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that button down there, and ring the bell. Click on the bell, that way you get notified every time I put something on. And my Authentic New Mexico cookbook, if you haven't purchased it, you can do so, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. Adios, bye. See you later. Don't forget to pray for me, okay? Bye.